Good morning, it's Thursday the 14th of April, it's also uh, the day before Easter Good Friday leading into the sunrise service of Sunday. So 2 Corinthians 9 and we're going to read verses 6 and 7. This is Coffee with God. Look at that amazing crema on this cup of coffee this morning. Two Corinthians nine, verse six says, "Now this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must do just as he has purposed in his heart, not grudgingly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver." And I know a lot of times the scripture has been used to uh, deal with finances and speak to how you give and how you uh, sow into the kingdom. But this morning I want to I want focusing on Easter, focusing on the cross that lies before Jesus. That as we realize that this Thursday is the last meal that he has with his disciples in the upper room, leading to his betrayal, arrest. And then obviously uh, the cross, the crucifixion tomorrow. And <laughs> can, I, can I bring sowing bountifully or sowing sparingly? Jesus Christ knew exactly what, was face, what he was going to be facing. He knew not only the physical pain, but the spiritual and emotional rejection of his father for the first time in eternity was on the horizon. And yet he goes fully committed into the will of God for his life. And I want to I want to bring in verse seven, which talks about don't give grudgingly, but give cheerfully. And in Hebrews, we read that it says for the joy set before him, he endured the cross. It was a cheerful. It was a joyful. It was a. Uh, I can't explain my my thinking in the sense that there was so much trust and so much belief in what was going to be accomplished that the pain and the trauma paled into insignificance. And I want to say to you this morning, may you work on your faith, may you grab hold of God in such a way that you are able to in any and every circumstance and situation and i don't know what you're going through i know that in south africa as in the world these are trying these are testing times uh, these are times of scarcity these are times of concern about the future of your work of your financial well-being of your stability and i want to say to you if you grab a hold of the the true God who, who is in charge, who is in control, then you are able to, in all circumstances, give of yourself fully, gratefully and cheerfully, not grudgingly. And as you go into today, as we go into this long weekend of hopefully at least two church services where we spend time focusing on the the death and crucifixion of Jesus Christ, but more importantly, the resurrection and life that God gives to him come Sunday. Um, as we spend time in that, may you get a sense of the purpose of God for your life and renew again, just renew again in your spirit, in your soul, that God is good and I can trust him to to carry me through whatever he asks me to go through, and I go through it, giving bountifully, not sparingly, cheerfully, not grudgingly, gratefully, trusting on the God who is able to work his will and his way in and through my life, and to give me the grace, the strength, the power, the ability to get through every single day. May that be the thought as you go into this Thursday. Enjoy the rest of your coffee 
And I pray for you that this Easter time be a special time of the renewal of your faith, the strengthening of your commitment to who you are in and because of Christ Jesus. To him be all the glory. Thank you, God, for loving us so much that you sent your son and that we can celebrate to remind ourselves that our faith is built on these high days. Have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. May the Lord bless you. Today I choose.